guys. Next workout in the Savage Series is our back workout. We're going to continue in our drop set fashion. High intensity, high volume, We're going to failure, decreasing the weight, going to failure again, decreasing the weight, keeping the burn going, keeping the burn alive. So today we got a, <laughs> we got a fun workout. We're going to start with a warm up and then we got four exercises and then we got a final exercise which is really going to push it. It's probably going to be the hardest thing we've ever done. So uh, enough chit chat, let's get to it, let's get to work. All right, first exercise. First exercise is going to be a warm up exercise. No drop sets, no supersets. We're just going to do pull ups with three different variations. So we're just going to do wide grip pull ups on here. Wide grip pull ups to failure. That's the first set. Take about 30 seconds, 45 second rest. Then we'll do reverse grip pull ups. That's the second set. Then another 30 to 45 second rest. And then we'll do a neutral grip pull ups. That's the third set. That's just a warm up. We're going for 10 to 12 pull ups, something like that. Just to kind of get get the blood flowing, get the blood pumping. Um, if you can't if you can't do ten pull ups, they have assisted machines, or you can get some bands. Put some bands on there and put them around your knees, just to give you a little assist. But uh, either way, here we go.
All right, that obviously wasn't 6, 8, 12. I started off too light, so I just went 10, 12, 20. So be afraid to improvise. Or if you don't have this sort of setup, don't be afraid to do something different, you know? You don't have to do this exactly the way that I'm doing it if you don't have the equipment available. Don't be like, oh, well, I don't have that, I can't do that. Just find out what the main objective is and then make it work with what you have. Be creative, guys. All right, third exercise. We're doing a T-bar row drop set. So we work the width of our back with the lat pull down, now we're going to work the thickness. But there's also an added benefit to doing these T-bar rows, T-bar rows, so you have to lock out positions. That's going to put some strain on your lower back, some isometric hold on your lower back and your quads. Um, we're starting, uh, like I said, we're going 6, 8, 12. So we're 6, 8, 10, 12. So with this heavier set, don't be, don't be lifting with your back here. Get nice and low and do lift it like a squat or like a deadlift. So use your legs to lift this weight. Keep your, once you lift it up, come down to about a 45 degree angle, lock it out, go six reps, boom, throw a plate off, uh, eight to 10 reps, boom, throw a plate, 10 to 12 are a failure. So here we go. Try to keep your keep your head up the whole time. Where your eyes go is where your body goes. So you notice that once you start to fail, once you start to get weaker, your head's going to drop, and then your body's going to go with it. Your chest is going to go forward. So really try to keep your head up. All right, exercise number four. We're doing a bent over barbell row to a bent over cable superset. So we work the width of our back with the pull-ups, then we work the thickness of our back with this mid T-bar row, now we're going to work the thickness of our back again, a little more of a low to high row. Instead of going close, we're going to go select, we're just going to go at shoulder width. So it's going to go from our spine, just a little bit outside the spine. So we're going heavier on this first step, that's why we're using the barbell, and I don't want to be sitting here pulling plates off, it takes too much time. So we're going to go heavy on the first set, about six reps, and then we're going to go to the the barbell, or not the barbell, the cable row, and that's where we'll do our three-part drop set. So we got one, and then three parts of a cable drop set, so we can move the pin really quickly, so we have minimized rest, rest in between. This is going to be a similar, it's going to be almost the exact same form as our T-bar row. We're going to pick the bar up, come down to about a 45 degree angle, right to where the bar rests in your kneecaps, and you're just going to row, not, not vertical, but along your leg line. So it's a short range of motion, just from here to here, Really focus on like squeezing your shoulder blades together, pulling that in, squeezing, squeezing all your back muscles together. All right, so like I said, four part super set, six, and then eight, 10, 12 over there. So here we go.
All right, next exercise, guys. Now we're going to do a shrug drop set. So for our intro series, we do the shrugs on the shoulder day because they're, they're typically incorporating their shoulders. But the shrug's more of a pulling motion. So we're going to do them on our back day. Think of it like a clock. We started high, then we went to mid, then to low. Now we're going to go up and down vertical, working our traps in the shrug motion. So we're going to do a, we got a barbell over here. I got the plate set up in reverse. You can see there's 25s on the inside, 45s on the outside. We're going to do heavier, a uh, heavier set for a shrug, then we're going to drop the plates off, then we're going to do a burnout set with the barbell, then we're going to pick the 45 plates back up and then do a, a plate shrug. So we got three part set. Here we go. these shrugs, make sure that you, you don't lock your knees out so you get a slight bend in your knees and then we're not bouncing or jumping up and down. We're locking it out, really go up and squeeze and hold it. It's kind of hard to isolate your traps if you're not used to it. You're going to start using your knees, you're going to start using your back, you're going to start trying to use your, your, your entire shoulder region. So really focus on locking your knees out, stabilizing your core, go up and squeeze and let it down slowly. Especially with those heavy ones, if, it's, if the weight's too heavy, you're not going to be able to move it at all, and you're just going to start going like this. So if you can't do a single one and hold it, hold it and squeeze it, then the weight's too heavy. So, All right, last, last exercise, guys, to say the best or last. To be honest, if, uh, if you throw a bet to this one, I wouldn't be surprised. We have a 10-part drop set. We're going to do a, a bent-over dumbbell row, one-arm dumbbell row, dumbbell row. We got five parts, five part drop set with one arm. Then we're going to start over and do a five part drop set with the other arm. So that's five, so five is ten. So we're going to use this entire rack here. I'm going to start with the 80, 80 pound. So we're going to go for three or four. Then we're going to go 70, 60, 50, 40, nonstop. Going to, and then start over with the other arm, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40. So we're just keeping it going, not really, not really worrying about the rep range. You can pick a weight that you can start with where you can at least do three to five and then just go down from there. Don't really worry about the rep range, just start with something where you can get three to five reps, and then go to failure five times, start over. I'm only gonna fill one set of this, but when you start, so I'm gonna start with my right arm, and then do the second set with my left arm. So then for the, the second part of the set, for the second actual set, I'll start with the left arm, and then go to the right arm, and vice versa. So make sure to switch back and forth. 
like I said, this thing fucking sucks, so take a little, maybe take about a two minute break between your last set and this set before you get going. So here we go. Oh, one more thing. I don't think I've shown these before. So the bent over dumbbell row. So you're gonna bend over. I'm gonna post up on here. But try to get almost, uh, have your chest almost horizontal with the floor. It's gonna be a little bit of an angle. But we're not gonna, we're not gonna come straight up like this. We're gonna focus on our elbow. And our elbow is gonna come kind of in a swinging motion, in an arc motion. So we're gonna start hanging, and then we're gonna bring your elbow up to back here. So it's kind of a, a circular motion as it comes up. So your elbow comes up and back down. And that's what you really focus on, squeezing your back. We're not lifting, we're locking out the core. Elbow comes up to the, up to, towards your ass, lock it out, hold, squeeze, lock it out, and bring it back down. So an arc motion like this. So here we go.
This one's really going to test you. This is what the Savage Series is all about. It's about testing your mind more than your body. Your, your mind will quit before your body does, which means you have to push your mind past failure before you can push your body to failure. This isn't normal. We don't want to be normal. This isn't average. We don't want to be average. <laughs> don't be afraid to be selfish here. Obviously, there's no one here, but I'm still taking up the whole rack. You know, I don't always work out at 3 a.m. Don't be afraid to be selfish here. You're here for a purpose. You're here for a reason. Don't be distracted by other people. You don't have to be an asshole, but when you have something written down, don't be like, oh, well, I don't want to get in the way. I'm not, I'll do that tomorrow. I'll do that tomorrow. No, you do it today. You get it done. You put in the work. And eventually, it'll add up to the success that you want. So that's it. That's the workout. Thanks for watching.